Hey guys, this is Miko from MO Sound Lab, and today we'll be looking at how you can run Miko, the next generation cabinet simulator, standalone with your XFX3, XFX2, and AX8. Let's check it out. So, there's a really awesome way you can run Miko kind of as an extension to your Vaxel unit, and I'll demonstrate how you can do that really easily without using a DAW or anything because you can run Miko as a standalone version as a program just like your X edit. So what I have going on here is actually a preset from the 2C Plus pack that we made. So what you need to do is get rid of the cabinet section. So once you turn that into a shunt or just bypass it, you don't have any cabinet modeling in your XFX anymore. If you're using an external audio interface you usually have different drivers for it. So uh, right now I'm using my Focusrite and uh, all the settings are just default output 1 going to output 1 and as you can see I can get the latency down uh, to 2.7 milliseconds. I also want to show you how you can do it if you want to use the USB driver of the XFX for uh, using Miko. So what you can do is actually uh, use the USB connection of your XFX3 going into your computer and using the XFX3 driver and you only have to change one setting and that is to use the input channel 3 and 4 with it. So now that you do this um, you're using the USB driver of the Fractal XFX3 and you need to do one tweak in the preset so the output block 1 needs to be an output block 2 and you need to do this which is add another input and have it an input USB going into output 1. So right now you have Miko in the loop of your fractal unit. So uh, the output that comes from your XFX3 sounds like this. And now you have the full functionality of Miko. So you can uh, have an older Mega cabinet. And choose from all these nine cabinets with these six microphones. And you can move the microphones visually in 3D space and pull the mics back up to 16 inches and you know you have a ton of versatility add up to nine microphones and blend them together and you can have one of them be on a different cabinet with a specific mic and once you feel like you found your sound simply export the IR so you can use it as a cool tool to kind of mic up your own cabinet and then take that sound and take it anywhere you want okay thank you guys and see you later bye